Hello and welcome. Maria Eves from the MLMtrainingbase.org. Now, look, today I'm going to introduce you how to go about setting up the Facebook comment stream. And for those of you who uh, have never heard of it before, it's got many benefits. Uh, we'll go through that as we go through the process of uh, installing the application. So what I'm going to do is take you up to uh, Facebook, and this is my profile. Those of you that do not already have a Facebook account, go ahead and open one. Uh, it's free. And um, let's type in the word developer. Enter. Now click over here, set up new application. Uh, we're going to use the MLM training base as a example. And I'm just going to put number two there. Uh, read the Facebook terms, agree, and create the application. Just type in the words that you can see for the security check. Oops, let's try that again. Take chairman, submit. Okay, go ahead and put your description in. Discover how to generate more leads, more cash, and build your business on autopilot today. Now you can uh, change your logo, upload your logo from your browser and uh, once you've done that make sure you've got, got your contact email address in there and uh, go ahead and click website here on the left hand side and what I want you to do is put your website that you're using save the changes. Now if you get a validation failed, just go back in there again and put a slash on the end of it. Save the changes. That's great, here it is over here. Now what we need from this particular page is the application ID. So what we're going to do is we're going to paste that, copy that to our mouse, copy and um, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to another page now and you need to go up to your browser and put uh, developers.facebook.com slash plugins and this is the social plugin site and what we're going to do is go and get the HTML code so just scroll on down to comments click it open now where the unique ID is just paste that ID in there that you copy to your mouse and you can see that you can change the number of comments and that means when you know you get a half a dozen comments you want to show them or you know if you get about 20 comments you want to show them so you can adjust that and the width it's been highly recommended by my dear friend uh, Sh Jordan Schultz who uh, has actually shown me how to do this so 600 will use in the width and uh, turn the public publish feed on and get the code now what we're doing here is we're going to copy this to our mouse and um, what I'm going to do is I've gone over to the side here and uh, got myself a notebook and here it is here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that code to my notebook. Now what we're going to do with this particular uh, code is right over here I'm going to just put my mouse there where it says APP you know and it's got an underscore and ID there's six <coughs> you know, six letters in there, uh, five letters and the underscore, that's six. We're going to take that out, but before you do that, what I need to make sure that you've got in your hands is the actual, the number. So uh, just click away and click that away and make sure you've got that unique ID on your mouse. Okay, and then pick that page back up. And uh, what we need to do is Put your mouse there with a with a capital A P P is at the beginning, and we're going to take out six one two three four five six, and what we're going to do is we're going to paste in that number. Okay, it's very important that you do that properly, and um, just down below here, I've already gone and typed it in. It's got you know this little uh, arrow here with the D I V, and then a space, and then a line equals, and the two little dots center, and the two little dots and the little arrows again. What we're going to do is we're going to cut that off there, 
Now you can type that down and then cut it off there and we're going to put it right up at the beginning of the code and uh, as Jordan has shown us it's basically to center it. Now down the bottom here I've also put another code here and um, I'm going to cut that off so type that in there and then put it at the very end of the code. So that's the full code there right there. Now what we can do from there is copy it all of it to our mouse Okay, drop the screen and what we're going to do is all the, all of the, all the people that have um, been utilizing the MLSP system you know you can create your own articles in the back office and so I've gone into the back office and um, I've scrolled on down to articles and you can click on source and then scroll to the very end and then paste your uh, HTML code in there and then update the article Okay, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again, but uh, that's where you put it. And you can put that code in any uh, website where you can put HTML code, you know, in the widgets and that. So um, I'm glad to have shown you that, and I'm just going to flip over to show you the result of that. And uh, this is a boot camp that I'm sort of working around at the moment. I'm trying to put a boot camp together, and uh, we'll put that out later on. But uh, let's scroll on down to the bottom and look at that. Uh, this is the result. This is the actual fa Facebook comment stream and the beauty of it is you know people can come in and I can see Stephen Dean has already popped in and, and that's a lovely surprise. Hello. And um, what they do is they pop in here, they click the like, comment and then they post it to their profile page. So uh, the result of that is we'll just pop back over to Facebook and you'll see that on my profile is the result of it the comment that I actually put in there uh, you can see there there it is uh, right there uh, I'm really delighted with this great tool there it is right there so if I click on it it will bring me back across to that particular page so there you go absolutely brilliant and um, thank you for viewing and uh, we'll catch up with you with our next video and you have a great day don't forget to leave a comment and uh, we'll see you soon bye for now